you've already read the thumbnail and title, and you're probably wondering, why is this game your favorite FNAF fan game? Well, I'm gonna explain today. Today, we're gonna be talking about why Five Nights at Treasure Island is my favorite FNAF fan game of all time. We're gonna first go over the history of Five Nights at Treasure Island. So back in December of 2014, and this was at the time when FNAF 2 had came out a little bit ago, and the first ever fan game had released, and I think you can already tell what it is. Yeah, that's right, Five Nights at Treasure Island. And this was the- oh shoot, wrong gameplay. As you could see, it looks simple, but I mean, this was made in 2014, of course it's gonna look simple. And at the time, this was a very good fan game, for, despite it for being the first. And it was based on a creepypasta called Treasure Island, or whatever that's how it was. Although the character designs were just reused characters, but except change and alter it a little bit. But I mean, they're alright. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, there's also multiple versions. And my favorite one from it is Finance of Treasure Island by Radiance, because they did it so good and so well. And it's one of my favorite ones. We're gonna start off with one of my favorite characters from it, and it's Hourglass. And I gotta say, dear Christ, this thing just, it looks incredible. In the storyline, it's basically all the characters in the game combined into one. So that's what gives it the uh, Mickey head and the uh, ink body. Honestly, I don't know what that is. And the environment to the game is honestly incredible. There's so many attention to details on this, and it almost gives off the good FNAF feel, especially since it was the first FNAF fan game. And also, the character designs. If you look at them, they look honestly incredible. They look spot on to the actual characters of Disney. Like, look at Photo Negative Mickey. Like, that looks identical to him. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention? There's also a second game, and it's called Oblitis Casa. So, it's basically a second game for Treasure Island. The characters this time are kind of different. We have Steamboat Willie, Daisy, and there's also Pete the Cat. And there's a bunch of other characters that I think I won't have time to mention. Oh yeah, also, there's gonna be like a third game I've heard about, and it looks like it's gonna be Nightmares Before Disney, or Below Disney, whatever. And I'll be sticking around for that. Anyways, I think this game, it is absolutely great. If you're gonna play it, I highly recommend it. And I think that's about it. I know you're like, what the heck? Why is it so short? Well, mm, I don't know. I mean, I do know, but I'm not gonna talk about it. Bleh. 